Social anxiety is the fear of being judged by our people, and this has become a serious issue in the past decade. Luckily, there are many supplements and nootropics that can help you out. But which are the best ones? Let's find out. Hey, what's up? Greg here, the founder of Your Inception. Welcome to my channel where you can learn top secrets about nootropics. Subscribe below to start your journey. Social anxiety is a serious, serious problem that is very difficult to get rid of. Now, by definition, social anxiety disorder, as it's often called, is a long-lasting fear of social situations. Now, I often hear people talking about being anxious, being afraid of going out, talking to people, but it wasn't until recently when a friend of mine approached me and asked me, Greg, do, are there any you know supplements that can help me out in those situations because I'm very afraid of going out especially on all those you know networking events and so on and I didn't know that this friend of mine has this issue and so I said you know let me do your research and find out the best supplements and the best nootropics that can help you out now just before I reveal them to you I just want to talk about uh, social anxiety what causes it and how you can recognize it by the way guys did you ever had any issues with social anxiety let me know in the comment section below. So poor self-esteem, irrational fears, and unreasonable feelings are factors that often define social anxiety. Now we often talk about generalized social anxiety, which happens in basically every situation, but there's also so-called non-generalized social anxiety, such as fear of speaking to unknown people on a particular event. And both types of social anxiety are a big issue nowadays. And you know, there are many symptoms that, that come with social anxiety, such as sweating, sensitivity, nausea, and so on. But the real question is, what causes social anxiety? What causes us uh, starting sweating and being so anxious in such social activities? Now, as I found out, the main issue is caused by neurotransmitters that play an important role in our brains. Now, I'm talking about GABA, I'm talking about dopamine, serotonin, glutamate, and so on. So, if you wanna help people with social anxiety, you have to ensure a normal production of neurotransmitter and a pretty much stable environment in the brain. And that's where nootropics and food supplements come into play. But which are the most effective ones? Well, let's find out. So I'm gonna share with you seven most effective nootropics that can help you with social anxiety. And um, you know, there are many more that exist, but they have no proven effects. They're just, you know, there's some anecdotal uses or use cases and, and so on. But I really wanna share with you those that have proven effects that have been studied and so on that can really help you out. So on the seventh position, we have aniracetam. Now, aniracetam comes from the aracetam family. As you might know, piracetam was the original nootropic that was designed in the, in the 60s. Um, so it was shown that aniracetam have anti-anxiety benefits, and this makes it effective for treating this issue of social anxiety. Now, the recommended daily dose is somewhere between 500 to 750 milligrams per day, um, and if you want to read more about aniracetam, where you can get it, how to take it, and so on, you can check it out below. I have provided additional information for all the topics that we're gonna mention, so check it out below, there's a link with all additional information. On the sixth position, we have lion's mane mushroom. Now, as you probably know, lion's mane mushroom is one of my favorite nootropics that I originally take for improving my cognitive performance, but lion's mane mushroom, I don't know if you know this, but it's very effective as an antidepressant uh, supplement. Actually, there was a study on animals that proved that supplementing lion's mane mushroom can decrease your depression. I mean, let's be honest, there's a lack of study on humans, but initial research shows that lion's mane mushroom can definitely help you out. And besides that, it has other positive benefits, such as it can improve your memory, improve your cognitive performance, and that's why it's always on the list. Now, I don't recommend it taking it just as an individual compound, especially not just for you know treating issues of social anxiety, but it's a very recommended nootropic that can play an important role in your nootropic stack. Now, the recommended daily dose, which is somewhere between 500 milligrams to one gram per day, you can take it up to three times. Again, to read more about it, check it out below. On the fifth place, we have ginseng, especially Panax ginseng. Now, as you know, this is an adaptogen herb that has many benefits, and as other adaptogen herbs, uh, it's very effective for treating uh, or making you more relaxed 
in any kind of situation. It's been used for centuries for decreasing stress and besides that it can improve your cognition as well. Now the recommended daily dosage is somewhere between 200 to 400 milligrams per day and you can take it up to two times. Again, to read more about it, check it out below. By the way guys, I have revealed seven secrets about nootropics that no one else will tell you about. To get them, download my free handbook below. Cool, on the fourth position we have Bacopa Monieri. Now Bacopa Monieri, it is definitely one of my top three uh, favorite or most popular nootropics that I take on a daily basis now for, for quite a long time because it has so many positive benefits. It is an adaptogen herb as we mentioned before with Panax, same thing. Um, it has been used, for example, in the sixth century already by scholars to help improve their memory. So it can improve your memory, it can improve your cognitive performance and it can reduce your anxiety and stress and that's why it is so effective for treating issues of social anxiety. Oh, and you know, it's considered a very safe nootropic. Now the recommended daily dosage is somewhere around 300 milligrams per day. And again, to get more information about it, where you can buy it and so on, check it out below. Ashwagandha is on the third position. Now this is another adaptogen herb um, you can find in you know, Sri Lanka. It's native to India and even Pakistan. Now this herb has a whole range of positive benefits, but most importantly for you guys, it can decrease stress and it can help with anxiety. Actually, there was a study done on people with anxiety disorder and they were given ashwagandha, I think around 300 milligrams per day. They got this uh, two times daily for a period of around eight weeks. And what happened in this period or at the end of this period was that people had a more than 50% reduction in anxiety disorders. And this is something we're looking for. I mean, that kind of facts, that kind of proofs. This is very good to know. So ashwagandha is definitely one of the herbs that should definitely be on the list. Now the recommended daily dosage is somewhere between 300 to 500 milligrams. And again, to read more about it, check it out below. On the second position, I put L-tyrosine. Now L-tyrosine is an amino acid. And I guess you're wondering like, what does amino acids have to do, you know, with, with social anxiety and so on? Now the role of L-tyrosine in our brains is actually to create neurotransmitters. And when L-tyrosine is the most effective is when we are in very stressful situations. So the good thing about this, you can take it before, you know, going out, going on a networking event or so on, uh, because it takes some time to kick in, to, to really start working. And it's, you know, the most effective when you encounter such uh, challenging situations. And the uh, recommended daily dosage is up to two grams. Now, most people recommend taking about 500 milligrams before a social activity. So you can take it 30 to 60 minutes before going out, for example. And this is very, very effective. And on the first position, we put L-theanine. Now, L-theanine is another amino acid that is often found in green tea, for example. It has been widely studied, it's very effective. If you drink green tea, for example, imagine what happens in the period like 15 to 30 minutes after, you get more relaxed, you get more focused, everything seems easier, you're usually in a better mood. Also, L-theanine goes very well together with caffeine, so if you need an energy boost and you don't wanna get this typical crash that follows drinking coffee, this is a great combo. You can drink around 100 milligrams of caffeine, you combine it with 200 milligrams of L-theanine, and bam, I mean, you get the energy, you, you're in a better mood, you can go out, speak to people, you know, you're gonna be more relaxed. I mean, it's very, very effective. And why is l so effective? So first of all, it supports GABA neurotransmitter and it produces a calming effect. Secondly, it increases alpha brain waves, which are associated with a state of relaxation. And thirdly, uh, l is involved in the on dopamine and serotonin secretion. So supplementing l shows to be very beneficial. You can also get it for drinking green tea, but if you take it in capsules, for example, the recommended daily dosage is about 200 milligrams. But again, as I said before, you can uh, drink a green tea before going out and that's it. Cool guys, we just covered seven most effective supplements and nootropics for social anxiety. Now, my personal recommendation is to combine them together, not all of them, now what you can do is you can take, you can buy one of the most amazing uh, nootropic stacks on the market. For example, one of them is Qualia Mind, another one is Mind Pro. There are others uh, on the market. You can check it out below. I mean, they're constantly changing, at least the best ones. I mean, uh, you can 
get a lot of very amazing Tropic stacks. So below I provide a special link with my best ones, my most effective ones. Now the good thing about the Tropic stacks is that they combine different compounds together and you know they provide mutual effects, mutual benefits. They're easier to take. You don't have to take you know all the ingredients separately. Um, and you know it's it's more convenient. Usually it's even cheaper, so that's very important. So that's my recommendation. Uh, combining those ingredients, not all of them, but you know it really depends on on um, what works for you the best, what kind of stuff you want to take. As I said below, there are more information, so just check it out. So my final recommendation to you guys is you know try different compounds, try different nootropics, especially, you know, different, you know, you have to do different kind of tests to see what really works on you and what doesn't work for you. I mean, there are studies done for all the compounds we mentioned, so um, there's nothing to, you know, you, you cannot miss with them, but really try the nootropics that, that, that we talked about, check it out below all the links, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna find something that's gonna work for you. Now, if this issue, um, doesn't go away, you know, if you're still afraid after weeks and weeks of weeks of testing and you know Trying different supplements then I would just uh, going to a doctor, you know Just to be sure everything is fine and if he or she can you know do something else there to, to help you out That's it for this video guys. Thank you for watching Don't forget to follow your inception on Facebook and Instagram. Don't forget to download your free copy of my handbook And you know if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact me. See you soon guys